Well, for more on the Equifax breach and other business headlines, we're joined by Melissa Armo from the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, good to have you with us. Thanks so much for having me today. And now, Melissa, let's first discuss the way that you think Equifax has handled and is handling this Boy, situation. This is, this is like a really big deal. I don't think people realize how big of a deal this is. The Federal Trade Commission is investigating the company, and they have announced that they're investigating the company, which they don't normally do when they're doing investigations. Also, consumers need to, you know, they need to do something and go check their credit, maybe you know, sign up for LifeLock, make sure that they haven't had any fraud in their accounts. Because, I mean, the thing is that people may have already stole their information and be trying to use it on their credit cards. So when you say check your credit, what do you mean by that? Well, you can go and you can get a free credit report and you can check your credit and make sure that there hasn't been any new credit that you You mean didn't if your credit out. ranking has changed? So no, like if somebody took out a credit card in your name because of the breach. Okay. So they stole, they hacked actually 143 million Americans and some actually people I think in the Great Britain and the Canada too, and they stole their information and they didn't announce it till September. So what happened was, and this is the really big thing while the FTC is investigating it, and they found out in March that there was a glitch in their system that they had to fix for a security breach. They didn't fix it in March. Right. And then it was hacked in May. So from May to July, there was the breach, and they didn't even announce it until September. And, and clearly, this is why we're going to see some government this action. Is, what do you expect is going to happen? I think something is going to happen that isn't going to be good for the people that knew about it. And this is kind of the thing where you say, well, how, who knew about it what? You were talking about the owner. There, some people sold their shares, which right. they announced, and that happened within, I think, a week, the first week after they found out about it. So within from July to the beginning of August, they sold the shares. They say, well, we didn't know about, we didn't know about this at the time. We didn't know about this, and they sold the shares. That isn't good. Of course, there's going to be an investigation, and the stock has plummeted. It's, it's gone like, like down, as, like straight as, down. As you would expect that it would. Um, now, Schumer is suggesting that the, the company offered to freeze people's credit for up to 10 years. Um, he's saying that uh, this is a, a bigger deal that, than Enron. I mean, he's really wanting to, to crack down on, on Equifax over here. What measures do you think Equifax should be taking to now try and address the situation from the perspective of consumers? There's actually a link. Uh, I, can, I can email it to you afterwards. You can put it on your website. There's actually a link that people can go to that they can and they can sign up, put in their information to find out if, if their information was breached. First of all, that should, everyone should be putting that out there. I don't know why they're not putting that out there more. You can go online and do it. In fact, you can, get, you can just Google it right now. What to do with the Equifax breach, and you can Google it and find out. And you go through and you fill in the steps and you find out if you're one of the people that was breached. That's number one. Number two, check your credit. Make sure that there hasn't been any new credit cards or loans taken out that you didn't apply for. To freeze your credit, you're not going to be able to do anything. I don't think that's the best idea. I think the best idea is check your credit, keep up with it, check all your credit card statements, and make sure that there's not been any unauthorized charges, right. like on your visa bill But of course, this can happen in, in, a, in a matter of weeks, in a matter of months, just because nothing looks suspicious now doesn't mean that that data won't be used at, at, a, at a later date. Well, you can go online and you can put on an alert. This is not a freeze. You can call up and you can do it and it's for 90 days and it's free. You can do it with TransUnion, Experian and, and the Equifax. You do it all three. You have to do it with all of them. And you say, no one's allowed to take out credit in my name unless they give you this password. Mm -hmm. And you can do it. And you could do it right now for free. Just go online writing those things and it's free for 90 days. That's better than a freeze. A freeze is, is not good because then you're not going to be able to use right. it. Well, Melissa, many are saying, how, how did this even happen in the first place? And, and it's called into question the sophistication of the technology used by Equifax here, yeah, that potentially they haven't been as up to date as they should have been. Should there be regulation enforcing companies that have such vital information to be as up to speed as possible with the best security technology? Well, I don't know if regulation is going to help out because they did do what they did do and they knew there was a problem. They just didn't fix it. It's like it's like one person could have dropped the ball and caused this to happen. You don't know. I mean, a company is run by people. But going forward, people make mistakes. Going forward, should uh, measures be taken so that other companies don't have this happen? I'm not a big proponent of tons and tons of regulation in business. You know, I own a business myself. I think if the, you have a good business owner, you have good management, you have good employees, things like this don't happen. That's what I'm saying. Somebody right. made a big boo boo, and it's not yeah. good. Is there, is there a big boo boo? That's an understatement, all right? Thank you so much, uh, Melissa Arm. Thank you very much.